Okay, uh, we will start our lesson today. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening to everyone. I am Nur Amila binti Mat Dawood and I will be one of your teacher today. So before we proceed to our lesson, let's recite our prayer first. Okay, so we will start our lesson today with a uh, recap from um, a short video. Uh, let me open uh, my video first. From the video, I think um, we will do about integration. Integration? Um, by part. Okay, that's right. Our topic today is integration by part. So, next. Uh, we'll continue with slide. Okay, so uh, what we will learn today is how to evaluate integrals using integration by parts. So the first one, we will uh, uh, learn how to integrate algebraic function with trigonometric function. And second, we will um, integrate exponential function with trigonometric function. So next, uh, what is definition of integration by part? Integration by part is used to integrate a product of two functions, such as the product of algebraic and transcendental function. Next, uh, integration based on product rule uh, from derivative, uh, from different differentiation product rule lah, product rule. Okay, so. Uh, how to use, uh, how to make this uh, product rule uh, equation to integration formula. So, we let uh, our first function u uh, equal to u and second function gx equal to v. So, um, the product rule will be the uh, derivative of uv equal to u. Uh, times derivative of b and b times derivative of u. Okay, rearrange the formula. We will get like this. Uh, okay, see this is um, the uh, arrange uh, formula and then we integrate both sides of the formula and then we will get, uh, get something like this. The um, below part of this uh, slide and then we will, uh, here we will uh, learn how to, co uh, how to uh, integrate, uh, how to uh, make uh, integrate, integrate formula. So first, uh, the u function, uh, we'll, uh, we will copy this uh, in, uh, to First, u, and second, we will differentiate. Okay, next, uh, the uh, the blue uh, function b, we will both integrate here and here. So we will get like this. Okay, so uh, integration by parts. Uh, this is the first formula. Uh, we can use the formula like this. Uh, simpler one. Uh, integrate u 
derivative of v uh, derivative of v uh, is uh, the second function uh, equal to u times v minus integrate v times derivative of u the next uh, we must uh, follow the uh, the steps uh, to choose a suitable u and dv for the for how uh, for we use the formula so u is a function of x which can easily be differentiated and while dv is an expression that can easily integrate it okay uh, this uh, we will discuss later and then differentiate u and integrate dv with respect to x and substitute into formula that's how we use the formula of integration next okay how to consider u how to consider u so we can use this order l i p e t what is l l is logarithm i is inverse trigonometry p is polynomial or we can say is algebraic function e exponential and t trigonometry uh, use the the first uh, the first order l uh, yeah, if we find l first and the uh, l first then we can assume it as u so the the last one uh, usually will be dv so example so for this example can you guess which uh, which uh, which box is u and which box is dv anyone can answer me hello Which one is you? X. Okay. X. Okay. A, U is X. Yes. Sine to e. X is V. Okay. Good. Very good. Excellent. Okay, next. Uh, that's right. Uh, X, uh, the blue box X is U. The first function is U and the second function is DV. Okay, next presenter. Hello class, uh, I'm Kailing, I'm your teacher and going to teach about integration of uh, x power function and also uh, trigonometry. Okay, before that, I want to share my slide first. Okay, can you, can you all see my slide? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is the first session that we were going to learn about the integration by part. Okay. Can you guys see this? Uh, all right. Okay. What do you guys think about this function consists? Content got one function and also this one. What is about this? Can you see two parts? Yes, it's so hard to integrate. Okay, so we will use integration by part formula to do. Okay, first. Okay, we will see about uh, you, you can see the x power fun power function and also trigger right. Okay. So this is our power function and this is our trigger. Okay. From this question, uh, the power we will just do until two power to two only. Okay. Next. Okay, can okay, this is the example that I'm going to show. Okay, um from the previous teacher we we know that we need to do the U thing and also do the DY thing, right? Uh DV things. So which one should we use X the U? 
class x square yes x square and this one will be the dv okay we write it back all right okay then d dv okay what will be the dv uh, sorry, what will you be a DU? The DU. Yeah, two X. Yes, we will differentiate this one and you'll get two X. Okay, before this, I need to teach you one thing. Um, okay. If we integrate sine X, we will get what? We will get negative, negative cos. Yes, negative cos, cos x. So from this one, we can see we will get negative cos 3x. Correct? But one thing here, the x here got consists the 3. So means we need to divide also the three also. All right, here can understand? Yes. Okay, so after we get the du and also the v, then we can continue our step. Okay, using the formula just now, uh, uh, we will this one at u v minus integration uh, integrate uh, of v and d u right so from this formula we can get this okay just now this one and this one we times together then we get this okay and then this one eh, sorry and then we, we take this one again and times the du du we times the du this one and this one times together and we will get this all right then the next step simplify simplify here and also times back this thing times back inside then we will get okay this one 2x cos 3x we can re re rewrite like that then okay from this part from this part we need to do again the u the the integration by part the u will be the negative 2 over 3x okay and the dv part we will use the cos 3x. Do you understand here? Okay. Okay, understand right here. So, the D will, will be what? We will, in the, uh, we will differentiate this thing and we will just get negative 2 over 3 and the v we integrate back the cost okay integration of the cost we will get negative negative sine sin. negative x over 3 over 3 over 3 yes so we take the u times the v we will get here u times the v 
and uh, okay, and then here, and then the V, the V has back the the U. Oh wait, wait, wait! Sorry, sorry. If integration of cos, I'm wrong ah. If integration of cos, we will get back positive sign. Okay, positive sign. This one wrong ID. Okay. Let me erase it. All right. So we will get this. Okay. Next step. Simplify it again. Then this one got two over nine, right? So we take it out because it's a constant. And then the last part we left only this, and then we can do the integration uh, integration straight away. Then we will get cos over power 3 then uh, multiply it and we will get the full answer and don't forget to write the plus c and the c will be the real number okay okay now is the brain writing section Okay, I want I want you guys to think for me a question that consists wait ah uh, that consists because just now we learn about we learn about power x with sine right so now can we do about with power x and the cost x okay let's say here is the b and here is the n power to n okay what should we put here and here any ideas no? uh can we put uh the the power we need to put how many uh, can we put one? Okay, one. And then the, the number here, what should we put? Mm, four. All right, okay, four. So our question will be integration of power one, x power to one and cos four x dx. Right, okay. Okay, the question just now, the question just now is this one, right? Can, how, how should we start to do first? First thing, what, we sh what should we do? Find u. Yes, find the u The u, it will be? X. X. The u. Is the one dx yeah. one dx okay and then the dv cos cos x cos four x right okay so integration for the dv uh, the cos for x will be sine x and sine for x over 4. Okay. Sine for x over 4. Okay. So, using the formula, u times this one, v, and then minus integration of v, dv, uh, du, sorry, du, and the dx will write back. Okay. Um. 
okay so should we write like x times the sign for x over the four and minus integration of sine for x over four okay because this is one dx right so that's mean only dx okay understand here this time all right so we will multiply it we will multiply it you will get x equal with that okay x sine for x over four and then okay from here we can see it's one over four as a constant right yes so we will left only integration of sine for x dx right okay so from from uh that's why we only left for this thing then we can in the great okay wait let me close one more okay um okay, from just now we get this thing and then okay that's how we get uh sorry that's how we get this one right okay okay after we get this so integration of sine for x is what we can straight away to uh, write it down this one copy back first okay this part integration of sine for x is equal to negative cos for x over 4. Yes, negative cos x over 4. So, simplify it, we will be getting the full, the, the full answer. x sine for x divide 4. Okay, this one is plus right. Minus here, minus here, become plus. Then, cos 4x. 4 times 4, we will get 16. Alright? And then, plus the C. Okay, and understand for this thing? Yes. Okay. From just now, the lesson, do you understand what I'm teaching? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So now I will pass to teacher Shasa for the next section. Okay, hey, uh, Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Nor Sasha Izrabinti Azizan and I will be your teacher for this session. Okay, now I will share my slide to you all. Okay, uh, can you all see my slide? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. We will start with the formula. Uh, we will use the same formula. Uh, from the previous session, which is integrate of u dv equal to u v minus integrate u and u. Okay. Okay. Uh, here I share with you the flow of the step. Which is uh, the first is we have to choose u and dv. Second, we have to find derivative of u and find v by integral the dv. After that, we have to substitute in the formula and we have to solve the solve the question follow step by step. And please don't forget that. 
the last answer we have to put arbitrary constant which is c okay 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 this uh this time i will show you an example which is integrate e to the power of 3x times 2x dx okay as you can see here we choose this uh, e to the power 3x as u and sine 2x dx as dv after that we differentiate u equal to 3 e to the power 3x dx and we integrate the dv so we get negative 1 over 2 cos 2x or right, uh this this Solution is same as the previous lesson. Do you remember the previous lesson from teacher Kailing? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, after that, after we get all the U, D, U, D, V, and V, we must substitute it, substitute them into the formula. As you can see here, this is U, this is V, this is integrate v and du okay for this uh for the solution of this question we have to integrate twice so we simplify first this first and we simplify this then we get the integrate e to the power 3x cos 2x dx okay uh until here who doesn't understand Okay, I hope all of you will understand. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, this equation is what we get from the previous integration from this. Okay. So, we substitute it into this. Then we solve it to get the this one okay after that we okay you uh what you can see here is this is minus 9 over 4 integrate e to the power 3x times 2x dx but at this equation we plus 9 over 4 integrate e to the power 3x times 2x dx here we must we must put the integrate at the same side and the other equation will have doesn't integrate at the same side okay okay uh then we just solve it like usual until we get the last answer this and we must plus c we must don't forget to the plus c at the last answer or else we will lose our marks okay okay until okay. here who doesn't understand all of you understand what i have explained to you yes i understand okay uh yeah okay. Okay, this is an exercise that I want you to do it. Okay, uh, before that, uh, can someone tell me uh, which one is U and which one is cos? Eh, which one is uh, DV? Anyone? Who U can? is exponential oh. to X. Yeah dv is cos 5x okay anyone else who can tell me the differentiate of u and the v to uh differentiate of exponent to the power 2x is uh 2 Exponent 
Two X. Yeah, correct. Uh, for the V. Uh, negative cos five X over five. Hmm. Ah uh, no. <laughs> Anyone else can try it? Uh, negative sine five x over five. No. Uh, for this, we will get uh sine sine five x sine five x. Five x over five. If first, uh, if we integrate cos, we will get sine. Okay. 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 Uh, so I would like to know. I want you to do uh, to try this exercise. I will give you time about about seven minutes. Okay. After that, I will call someone to show the answer.
Okay, okay. Uh, your seven minute is over. Hello. Okay. Uh, now anyone can anyone who want to try to show the answer. Anyone? Want to try to show the answer? Uh, teacher, can I try? Uh, okay. You can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you see my a uh, bit near to the camera? Okay, uh, what is did you get the last answer? Yeah, the last answer is the integral of e. Two to the power uh, e power of two x cos five yeah. x dx equals to hello can you hear hello 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 okay uh, my answer is integral of e to the power of two x cos five x dx equals to five e to the power of 2x sine 5x plus 2e to the power of 2x cos 5x over 29 plus c. Okay, good. The answer is correct. And uh, if you get the answer, I I think you your your answer is correct too. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all from me. I hope. Uh, you all can understand what I have teach you. So, I will pass this class to the next teacher. Okay, good evening to everyone. My name is Muhammad Rahizat. I will continue teaching from our previous teacher. We learn about integration by part just now. So, I hope you all understand what we have learned. Now we have entered the assessment session. We are going to have a short assessment by using Kahoot. There are three questions uh, and the time given is about 10 minutes. This quiz is to test your understand understanding of the lesson. So I want you all to open uh, a Kahoot and we will answer a short quiz now. Yeah. So, you guys wake up now. So, uh, I let you in the Discord number. Amina, Chacha, and I and okay, all in now. So, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, we start now. So the first question is integration by parts formula. Uh, 
Oke, okay. all of you is correct. Oke, okay. choosing ye, the first now, the first now. Oke. Okay. So, the second question, so. So, the question is too small. So, I show you the first. So, this is question. Choose the correct answer. Wow. <laughs> so fast to answer the question. Two of you have done. Just one. Only. Correct. Oh. Okay, it's okay. We go to the next question. Amila. So the one correct is Amila only. Okay, so we go to the next question. So the last question. So so it is A, B, and C. Wait, huh? That is the question. We have two minutes. Someone of you have done.
two of you have done, we have one minute more. Oh, all of you is correct. Good. So we finish the question. Kind choosing me. Oh, congratulations. So, Amila is correct. So, what is, yeah, uh, for question one and question three, all of you uh, choose the correct answer. So, for the question two, what is the correct answer, Amila? You, you choose the correct answer. What's your answer? E? E, yeah. The answer is E. That is the, the correct answer. So, it's okay. Um, Okay, the quiz is over. Yeah. All right, before we end the class, I want you all to complete the exit pass as the passing ticket for today's lesson. So, You guys, you guys see it? the PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. Uh, so this is the exit pass. Uh, so uh, as the passing ticket for today's lesson. So before we end the class, I want you to answer uh, to share this. I want I, I give you one minute. learn today and the uh, general problem okay all of you finish how well is your understanding about today's lesson Okay. And you guys are here. Okay, one minute at time. So I want to go share your exit pass. Now two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So I want uh, one more uh, student to share this as it pass. Kylie. Okay, Kylie. Can you share your 
Yes. Um, okay, good. So, ah, uh, how well you understanding about today's lesson? So, if you ah uh, learn much from this lesson, and uh, enjoy, show me a big smile now. <laughs> okay, all right. Since our class has come to the end. Uh, since everyone can get average high mark for the quiz just now, so the learning objective have achieved. Okay, so we ending. Uh, we dismiss this class now. So okay, thank you everyone. Thank you. All bye right. Bye. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you.